Hello everyone, this is David from DIY Games and today I'm doing delts and traps for my workout. Now what I decided to do differently today is I decided to use for my dumbbell shrugs in place what I'm doing. is so I'm using two of my parallel bars because they swivel to an upward position. They actually have a wide spacing. So rather than using dumbbells for this particular exercise, which is only about this wide, I'm able to get some additional spacing. That way when I hold each one to the side, I have the weight further away from my legs and I won't be rubbing on my legs as I do the movement. Now, for this particular weight, what I have on is I had a 45 on each side, a 10 on each side, two fives on each side and a two and a half on each side so in weight there's a total of 135 pounds plus the bar itself weighs 15 pounds so each one is a total of 150 pounds and like i said an advantage for this particular method of doing them same thing on this one is you have this swivel motion that the bar is actually able to do so that makes it so that Whenever I move the plates into position, such as this, but it's easier to move around. And go ahead and swivel the bar so that they're straight up. Now, of course, in order to perform the exercise to start with, you have to do a deadlift from the ground up, unless you set the weight on top of some blocks or some wood or a bench or whichever, but I'd rather just go ahead and bring it straight up. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Now I've already done this twice. Not only as the exercise, but also because I had to keep redoing the video because it got cutting off on me. But that's fine because I need to do the exercise anyway. Anyway, here we go. Three, two, one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now something you have to be aware of while you're doing this motion, be in control of the weight, that way it doesn't try to spin around on you too much. And also keep in mind of what you're training and what I mean by that is I'm training traps for this particular movement, not forearms. So if you need to, wear some uh, wrist straps, such as these over here. I try to try to refrain from using them too much. I usually only wear them whenever I'm going heavy, so. And I don't want to use them on this yet because I don't need them yet. But anyway, that's just an idea that I came up with just because as far as fixed weights go, I have the 80 pound dumbbells over there. And then I have the 150 pound dumbbells over here. So what I decided to do was set this up that way i can go ahead and gradually start building up on it that way i don't have a 70 pound gap in between so but anyway just an idea in case anyone has uh some similar bars uh, but anyway thank you for watching please like share and subscribe i'm gonna try to put out some more videos more frequently between weightlifting as well as woodworking I try to go back and forth between doing a video between each um, I'm not sure if it's actually being picked up in the video but um, over on this side the
garage, I have primarily um, a woodworking area. And then over here on this side, I have mostly my weight section. Back that corner, I have my lumber storage. And then where the camera is actually set up is actually the area that my wife parks in. So, but anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, I'm gonna try to put out more videos. Try to do some more unique exercises. That way to give other people some ideas. But anyway, until the next video.